Hello friends, welcome back. So in last video we have seen we have learned about linear search algorithm and now we are going to learn about binary search. So binary search is always better than linear search because it is much more faster than linear search. We know like linear search has the complexity, time complexity is O of n, whereas binary search has runtime complexity is O of log n, it is much more faster. In linear search, we are iterating the array index by index from every index, zero index to the n index, and we are identifying the number which we are expecting. But in binary search, we are not going to iterate from zero index to n index. We are not looking for every index, but we are going to divide the array in two parts, left part and right part. So how do we divide the array? So we, we are going to find the middle index, and if our expected number is at middle, then it's okay, we'll just return it. But if it is not, and if expected number is greater than the middle index number, I mean middle number, then we are going to look into the right side because array is a sorted. So only condition with binary search is you should have the sorted array, right? So that is the advantage. So if you don't find the number at middle index, then search into the right. That is number is greater. And if you don't find number at middle and number is a small expected number, then search into the left. Again, do the same process. Find the middle, search left, search right. So let's see the implementation. So let's take an array. Cool. Now we have an array and uh, suppose we have a target 14. From this array, we have to identify whether 14 is present in this array or not using the binary search, right? So you can see this array is already sorted 2, 4, 7, 9. So this is the first requirement. Like if you want to apply the binary search, you must have an assorted array and we have it now. Now, <clears throat> what is the next step? As I mentioned before, first thing we have to do is we have to identify the middle and verify whether our expected number is present at middle or not. So let's get the middle. How do you get the middle? Uh, it's a simple mathematics formula like left plus right divided by two. So what is left? Left index plus right index divided by two. You're going to get it three like zero plus seven divided by two. It's a three. So three is the index. So what is the third index? It's a nine. And what is our expected number? It's a 14. So 14 is at right side. So we don't find 14 at our middle. So what is next step? So next step is if the target is greater than the middle number, then what will be the focus array? So this will be the focus array. Right side will be the focus array. Suppose our target was a four, then what will be the focus array? Because target is less than the middle number, then this will be the focus array from zero index to the second. Right. So accordingly, we have to take our next step with current scenario. Our target is a 14. So our focus array will be the right side. Then again, we have to do the same operations, perform the same operation on the focus array. I mean, the newly divided array, which is from fourth index to the last index. Again, we have to calculate middle. Now, what is the middle? In this case, the left index is the fourth because we already check the middle number right we, di we did not find our expected number at middle and the middle index was three then our left index will be middle plus one that is four and the right index will remain same because we have to check until the end of uh, our array now with this middle formula we got our middle index is five check what element at the five cool we got our element 14 right the 14 number which is expected so see guys i mean if we apply the linear search to identify 14 we have to go to the first index second index third index fourth five six like at fifth index we will get the 14 right so we have to compare we have to iterate five or six times to just identify this 14 number but with binary search we found our expected number only with two iterations right so that's the beauty of binary search but the only limitation is the array or your data set should be sorted now what is time complexity so with respect to time complexity it's a o of log n because on every iteration every attempt we are going we are dividing the array of its half so that's why the complexity is log n 
we are not going to check each and every index. We are just dividing the array, so the probability is going to be half. And what about space complexity? So there are two types of space complexity can be identified for binary search, which are like if we implemented binary search using recursive way or iterative way. So let's say recursive way. So when we say recursive way, Java runtime going to allocate some memory to store this list into the stack. So that's why, and every time we are going to divide the data set by, by its half. So the recursive way, if you implement this algorithm, the complexity, space complexity is going to be the O of log A. But in iterative way, there is no extra space we are allocating to come up for the solution. I mean, so uh, to implement the binary search. So in iterative way, the space complexity is always O of one. Cool. Now the, yeah, I already discussed the note is data set must be sorted. Now let's see the implementation for this algorithm. Okay, let's implement the binary search now. As I mentioned, there are two ways to implement binary search. One is recursive and other is iterative. So let's implement the recursive way first. So I'll create one method binary search recursive and the next method I will create for iterative. Now what is the parameters for this method? We have to implement the binary search. So definitely we need an array we need one target which we are going to search into the array and now we need two extra parameter which is left index and right index to identify the middle and we will check whether uh, middle element is expected one or not if not we'll going to do the next operations okay so i take left index right index array and target that's it now what is our first step the first step is we have to identify the middle so int middle is equal to what was the middle formula we saw. So this was our array and we saw the expected one was 14. So we calculated middle with the left plus right divided by two. So do the same thing. Just identify left, right divided by two. It will give you middle. And the first check is if array of middle so middle is an index middle is not an element we have to check the number in the array at middle index so array of middle is equal to equal to target which is our expected then cool we got the number right so just return that index so middle but what if it uh, if it don't find at the middle then what was the next step we have to verify whether the target is greater than the middle or target is less than the middle and accordingly we have to take a step so let's say if our target is greater than array of middle that means our target is greater than middle then we have to recursively call the same method We have to pass the array target but in this case the left now now imagine the number is a greater so in this case the number was a 14 so we took left as fourth index so it was a middle plus one and the right we kept same right so the same thing we have to do array target so the in this case the left will become a middle plus one and the right will remain the same so recursively we call the same function just we have to return it we have written the same same function but with the diff, different parameter i mean the parameter are the same but the values will be different now and if not the final return we have to do now the next condition going to true is the number which we are expecting is a small than the middle so in this case we have to pass array target so the left will remain the same but the right will become middle minus one because middle we are already checking here so there are three conditions check the middle check the right array check the left array that's it it's very easy now one important thing as we implemented this algorithm using recursive way 
we must have to give a base condition or else this implementation will go into the loop let me explain we got the middle we divide the array then we got this new array again we divide the array so left and right we are performing we are dividing the array on the basis of left and right what if there is no element into the in, in array then definitely this right right is always greater so right will become less and left will become greater than right then that's the false condition i mean that's the condition where we don't find the array i mean we we did not find the uh, number in, in in the array so we have to consider this condition or else pro our implementation will go into the loop so we have to write like if right is less than left i mean right is always greater than the left but if this condition happen if right is greater than left then you mean there is no we did not find a number expected element into the array so return minus one that's it so we cover all the conditions like uh, the minus one condition that is we when we don't find the number in array and rest all the conditions now let's verify this implementation go to the main class this was our previous linear search now let me call binary search method binary search okay now it's a bad idea to call i mean to pass all these parameters from the main class like array target left and right index so let's create one more method uh, and we'll call uh, and we'll pass only the array and the target so public int with this method we'll pass integer array and int target Okay, we'll and here we call this this method with left is zero and right is array dot length minus one. Cool. So it will be more cleaner implementation. Now we can make this method private so it should not be visible from outside class we will just make this method visible by a search recursive and we have to pass only two parameters array and target so that's much cleaner than this implementation so let's call this method now i save the code and okay cool so yeah uh, we pass the array now the important thing is array must be sorted so let's make a sorted array okay cool uh i now index search binary search index numbers let's search first valid scenario let me search whether six is present into this array or not awesome zero one two six is present and second index let's search for 40 zero one two three four five cool let's search one zero to index cool now let's search the number which is not present in the array minus one awesome let's search null array minus one awesome so this is what the recursive implementation it's quite easy now we'll see the iterative iterative implementation for the binary search let's implement binary search algorithm with iterative way now cool now i'll create a method another method binary search iterative now it's an iterative approach so again we need an array and a target okay so as it's iterative way uh, we again we need two parameters not parameters I would say the values so we declare the left is equal to zero that is the start index of the array and right is equal to the end index so which is array dot length minus one right so we have to iterate through the array but how long 
how long we will iterate through the array, right? So we have this array. And the true condition is the left index will always remain the lesser than the right index, although we are dividing the array. So with the full array, the left index was zero and the end index was the seven. We divide the array and left index became a fourth and the right index became a seven, right? So although we divide the array, the one condition going to be true always is the left index is always remain less than the right index. And if it falls, that means element is not present into the array and we should return minus one or false. So we have to iterate the array using while loop and we have to consider this condition. So while left is less than or equal to right, only that point you iterate the array. While left is less than is equal to right, what we have to do, we have to first find middle. What is the middle? Again, the same formula, which we use in recursive way, left plus right divided by two. Okay, now if array of middle equal to equal to target, then yes, we got our number then just return middle but if this condition is not true suppose then what what will be the next condition if array of middle that is or we can say the target is greater than array of middle so there are same conditions which we use in recursive way. So in this case, suppose target is greater than the middle, then only left will be the change. So we declare the left to the zero, but in this case, now left will become middle plus one, right? Else else so if we go to the else condition else condition is a condition where the element is a small now now left will become the same but the right will become middle minus one cool now suppose we come out from this array and we don't find the element then we have to return a minus one Awesome, so that's the implementation. Like, let me go through again. Uh, we declare the left zero and the right is the length of in, end length of the array. So uh, the index is minus one, array length minus one. And we iterate uh, until and unless left is less than or equal to right, we calculate the middle. And if we check if the our expected number is at middle, then we return the middle. And if not, if target is greater than the middle, we, uh, we, we, I mean, we, no, then the expected number is at the right side. So the left is middle plus one. And if it is not expected number is at left side. So right will become less than middle, which is middle minus one. Cool. So let's test this implementation. Okay, binary search recursive. Instead, I will write iterative. Uh, okay, let me take an array. One, four, six, eight. 9 maybe 10 now search with the valid case again let's say search for 4 0 1 awesome let's check for 10 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 cool let's check for 1 0 the index awesome let's check for null array minus one cool. let's check for number which is not present into the array awesome minus one so that's it guys so we implemented both ways recursive way and iterative way thank you